Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. I thank you for clicking on that thumbnail to check out what your girl has to say today. We have something really exciting. We have some unboxings, a couple of unboxings, and um, one that I've already had, and we're gonna be talking about the House of Moogler today. And these are three of my angel, three of my cute little stars. So um, we're gonna do some unboxing, first impressions, and then we're gonna talk about one that I already have. So if you wanna talk about about uh, the House of Moogler, and this is Angel, three different uh, perfumes. Please continue to watch, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells so that every time I do upload a video, you can be the first one to give me your recommendation, comment, feedback, or whatever else you want to talk about for the day. Appreciate all of you guys for helping this channel grow. So now let's get into these fragrances. So a lot of people don't like Angel. Um, I've never really tried the original one. Actually, I tried it about maybe over 10 years ago and I didn't find it that appealing, so I didn't purchase it. I think it was probably like 15 years ago, the original Angel. Um, and I remember it being really sweet. So when this one came out, Angel Nova, last year, actually it was launched in the US in January of this year. And this is Angel Nova. I was like, you know what? Let me go on ahead. I blind, you know, I blind by everything, y'all. So I said, let me go on ahead and try it. So I tried it, and I actually really like it. It is very reminiscent of Delina. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance, a very pretty summer fragrance. Will definitely shine in the summer. And you have in here, you have some raspberry, some lychee, some patchouli. I think there's some. Um, uh, I'm sorry, let me get some of my notes. Um, you have your raspberry, lychee, patchouli, akigala wood, some benzoin, and damask rose. This is a really pretty fragrance. So if you don't have Angel Nova, then you should try it. It's pretty reminiscent to me of the original Delina. So um, it's not as potent though as Delina, but it is a little more like a watery Delina with a little bit more raspberry inside. So it's a great fragrance. Um, across all ages, you know, um, it will work. So it doesn't matter how old you are because I know people, so for some people, this star is very off-putting, but it's, it's definitely a great fragrance. I'll go ahead and spray it. Automizer is not so great, but you know, whatever. It's Angel. <laughs> so yeah, like I get a lot of raspberry lychee. It's not, the lychee is not as striking as in Delina. But you get more raspberries, some benzoin, and I guess the Akigala wood, which gives it a little bit more of a woodsy note, the woodsy scent. And you definitely get that rose. It almost, yeah, uh, well, yeah, a damask rose. Yeah, it's a little sweeter, like a sweet rose. I do like this better than um, Nina Ricci, because a lot of people compare Nina Ricci also to Delina, the, the Nina Ricci Rose Lick Sauce. Uh, but I actually like this one better than the Nina Ricci Rose Lickstas. So if you want something reminiscent of uh, Delina that's really fresh and you like fruity fragrances, um, in Nina Ricci Rose Lickstas, you get that raspberry rose. And this one, you get the lychee raspberry and the rose. So good stuff, you know? Absolutely like it. And um, if I ran out of this bottle, would I repurchase it again? I really like the scent. Maybe I would, um, but it's I, I believe it's a safe blind buy if you like Delina, you know, cute fragrance. So the next we have, oh yeah, so let's get into this um, jewelry just for a moment. Um, this, I love abalone, and I think this is the abalone stone. So these are abalone earrings. I think they're called abalonia. No, no that's apollonia. Um, these are abalone beautiful beautiful earrings and this abalone necklace actually came from peru um and it's very beautiful i actually bought it they sell a lot of these necklaces um i forgot what the circular um the symbol means but a lot of their necklace necklaces are in this circular shape but it's um abalone as well and i thought it would go really cute with these kenneth cole earrings that i had at home so beautiful necklace. And then it has um, some of their Peruvian symbols and the colors on the back. But handmade, everything, beautiful. Okay, 
Anyway, let's get back to our unboxing. So the next unboxing we're gonna do is, um, you guys want Ice Star or you want, um, what is it, Oco Sierra? Let's go with Ice, uh, let's go with Oco Sierra so we can um, get away from the fruitiness, get to some of the sweetness, the lactonicness, and then we'll go back to the fruitiness. So, okay, um, I don't even know what this looks like, what's in here, um, we'll take a look. Um, so this is Oco Sierra, and I think this was launched in either 2020 or 2019. And I heard, I love the note of fig and fragrances, y'all. So I heard this was a really nice fig fragrance. Um, inside here in um, Oco Sierra, you have fig patchouli, you have some magnolia, and you have vanilla. Um, it's sweet. They said it says fruity, I guess because of the fig, but it's probably more of a deep, woodsy, fruity type scent because fig is a pretty deep, sweet note. Um, and uh, lactonic, floral and lactonic. So this is really cute. And this is the 50, 1.7 ounce, the 50 ml. Oh, actually, hey, it matches. You know, y'all, I really don't do this on purpose, you know? Um, <laughs> but yeah, it completely matches. So um, I heard the stars don't sit up. Yeah, and this doesn't sit up. But someone had a video. I can't remember what it was. They had some little apparatus at the bottom that actually sat the star up. Yeah, because this is going to probably annoy me a bit that I have to lay it on its back, you know? Um, yeah, we stand up over here, okay? So anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so I heard this was a very pretty big fragrance. So yeah, let's get into this. Wait, make sure I didn't spray it. So a beautiful, so let's let's see what this fig smells like. Everybody's always talking about the stars. So, you know, I had to get my nose on them. I had them for about a month already and I was waiting for the right time to unbox them. Cause I wanted, you know, to do it all together. And I was waiting, I, actually I had this one for a month. I was waiting on the ice star. It's nice. Um, first impressions, would I purchase it again? Probably not. It's not that nice, but it's nice. Let's go ahead and spray it on my finger on some skin so we can see what it smells like on skin. Cute little bottle though. You would think with all the technology they have, they would come up with something to allow these bottles to stand, you know, or to give us something that will allow these bottles to stand in place. Come on, Moogler. Or is it L'Oreal? Yeah, I think it's L'Oreal. It's nice. I do get the patchouli. I get the deep, sweet, fig, rich fig note. Yeah, it's nice. Would I purchase it again? No, you know, but um, I'm glad I did get my nose on it. And I would definitely wear this in the, maybe in the cold, cooler weather. Now, now I wouldn't even do summer nights. I would probably, you know, because there's so many other prettier um, perfumes that I have for summer nights. But you, if you have this, you can definitely wear this in the summer nights. This To me, this is definitely unisex, you know. Yeah, it comes across the board as unisex. So yeah, I smell some greenness in here. It's more like a fig leaf, you know, too. Yeah, the fig, the greenness, patchouli. You know, what else? Oh, there's some magnolia in here. Maybe that's where the greenness, the floral notes, green floral notes coming from. Yeah, nice fragrance, but you know, um, yeah, just nice. All right, next we have, this is going to be a very short video now because you know my videos are always like super long because I run, run, run my track. So the next one we have is, um, this is Angel Ice Star and this is what everyone's talking about, y'all. So let's get into Angel Ice Star. This is also the 50 ml. Now these retail for about, I think it was about $65, $75. And I purchased these on the actual um, Angels website. Ooh, this one's pretty, y'all. Uh, so look at this star. This is Ice Star. Let's see if Ice Star sits up. Now, Ice Star actually sits up, but um, Ocosier doesn't. Thank you. So it'll it can stand up next to my Angel Nova. 
Angel Nova also stands up. So y'all, this is pretty. Look at the two different ones. So this is Ocosier and this is Ice Star. I don't wanna pick up Nova because I might end up dropping them. And this is Nova. And these have a more of a thicker base, so they stand up. I bought the big one of Nova. So yeah, I, this one's really good. Beautiful bottle, stunning colors, love it. Absolutely love it. Make sure I didn't, which one did I spray the? Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and spray this. So with the Ice Star, this was actually um, uh, brought out in 2021, a very new fragrance. You have your coconuts. Uh, it's very sweet, vanilla-y. It's tropical, fruity. It's like tonic. So the notes are pineapple, coconut, vanilla. You have praline and patchouli. I heard this one smells really good, y'all. Let's spray, spray it on paper first, and then we'll do skin. I'm getting pineapple without even smelling it up to my nose. Definitely getting the pineapple coconut. Vanilla. Yeah, let's go ahead and spray this on skin. This is very light, airy, citrusy, very tropical. Uh, I sprayed on some other stuff today. Forgive me. <laughs> I'm like sniffing all over the place the check out the automizer this automizer is actually better than ocosier so they must have um, changed it yes this is good y'all this is almost reminiscent of like some pineapple candy very sparkling citrusy airy Whew, yeah this is good now it's not too sweet. It's not very sweet. Like um, Nova sweeter than Ice Star. You probably have to spray heavier on this, but Nova don't spray heavy. Four sprays max and you're done. I could see spraying at least maybe eight to 10 times with this one. Yeah. This is a, a very nice fragrance. You do get a little bit of alcohol though upon initial spray, which I really don't care too much for, but it dries down pretty fast. But yeah, a really nice pineapple fragrance, pineapple coconut, but more pineapple, vanilla, patchouli. Would I purchase this again? Probably not. It's cute, but this is going to last me forever, you know? Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Definitely a great summer fragrance, you know. I could definitely see myself. You can actually mix the two. These two together would be amazing, you know. But definitely light. Overspray, okay. Overspray with this one right here. Yeah, I like it. Was it worth the um, 70, 60, 70 dollars? I would say yes. I love the Ice Star, you know, love my Angel Nova. The fig is nice. You know, getting more of the fig and magnolia in the dry down. Yeah, getting more of the pineapple coconut. Yeah, pretty, very pretty. Uh, summer fragrance. I wouldn't even do this in the spring. This is just straight up summer because it's so bright and uh, it's not as projecting, but a very soft, um, tropical, coconutty, pineapple scent. More pineapple than anything though, y'all. All right, so that's my review um, recap. Out of all the ones, which ones do I love the best? So for the very first one, I'm going to have to stick with the one that I do love the best. I would say I would still go with Angel Nova first. You win. Then next, of course, we have Ice Star. And then next, of course, we have Ocosier. So, and in that order, y'all. So thank you for watching my uh, fragrance review on Angel, the House of Moogler. And y'all, get into Ice Star, you know. Get into Nova if you don't have it already. Have an amazing day. Go out and spread amazing sillage. Be good. Do good, you know. Bye-bye, y'all. Love y'all.